Howdy there, folks. How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome to the last episode of the 2020 and 2020 challenge, where the challenge was failed an awful long time ago. Like, we failed this challenge ages ago, and yet we endure. We, we continue on. Still don't know what to do. Should we make one of these real quick before we go? We kind of have our end game in mind. We know how we're going to wrap things up. So let's go ahead and put a couple sticks together. What does that do? A fire starter. Interesting. Dragon Command Staff. Oh, I am the Dragon Commander. Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! <laughs> I don't know if that's how that works. Uses? Interesting. Um, quest book? Interesting. Okay. Well, maybe we should go over to the Orange Dragon. Maybe we can show the Orange Dragon our fancy Dragon Commanding Stick. And then we'll control the orange dragon. Also, I should have brought a boat with me, and I didn't. That's my mistake. Because we're gonna go first over to this this wizard tower, and then we're gonna we're gonna see what it was I wanted to buy because I can't remember anymore. And we need to be on the lookout for some magic flowers along the way because I don't have enough magic crystals for uh, for what it is we're gonna be doing. And then we are going to go over to that village and see what that was all about. And then maybe I'm gonna go court a princess. You know, who knows? Maybe by the time this series is said and done, I'm going to be heading back to the Empire. I'm going to be king. Hey, it's me. I'm going to be a big king. Who can say? There he is. All right. I do see some flowers on the way there, so it's worth swinging by and grabbing those. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. You remember me? You remember me, your old friend? Remember your old friend, Reese? Hey, pretty soon I'm going to marry a princess, and you're going to be calling me King Reese, eh? But maybe you'll be calling me... Dragonborn before then, eh? Maybe you're going to be calling me a bit of a Fusro Da. That's not what they're called. That's just a thing that you shout. Uh, do we need to get rid of the shield? What do we do with this thing? Hi! Whoa! Now hold on! Look at me! Look! Look at what I've got here! Stop! 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 Can't you see that I've got- Maybe we've got to rush him. Maybe that's it. Oh gosh, it all got frozen up. This guy has this innate ability to just freeze the world. Look at me. I've got the I've got the stick of, of, of the commands. Worship me! Worship me! Bend your get down on your knees and tell me you love me. So far it's working. Are we good? Are you stuck on that tree? What is happening? Is that a pirate ship over there? Is that your pirate ship? Don't you start bellowing fire. All right. This guy. I think he's being sassy. All right, I'm not I'm not dealing with your sass. No, sir. No, sir. Nope. You had your moment. You could have got down on your scaly knees and worshipped me as the dragon god that I am. You chose not to. That's your call to make. That's fine. I can't do anything about that, except for, you know, to utterly destroy you. That's, that, that's your options, okay? You, you, you can, you can, you can bow your head to me willingly, or by force. Oh, there's, oh, he has a baby? I'm pretty sure that's what we saw on our island. That's exactly what we saw on our island, and I still can't tell if that is a bird or what the heck that is. But I'm glad we found another one before the end of this series. I've been calling it the Iguana Bird, and it, it's back. It's finally back. That might even be the same one. Is this a nesting mother? Is that what this is all about? Is that what's happening here? Oh gosh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Oh dear. Look! Look, at, I've got the- look what I've got! You better stand down! Stand down! Stand down! Stand down! Get away! Shoo! This is not effective. Oh well, being under it is effective, I guess. Look at how much health this thing has! We gotta go, pals. We ain't gonna make it. We ain't gonna make. Oh, we're heading toward the little lizard thing now. Oh, Shrek me. Should we just go to the- I mean, the amount of damage we're gonna have to deal to actually kill this guy is insane. Alright. You know what? We're not quitters, though. We're invested at this point. We're gonna keep going. Maybe- maybe he's healed. Maybe that's why it's not- Because I thought that maybe it was both of the times we've attacked him combined that have, have led to this, but- but maybe not. Maybe he healed, and now we're back, and he's back to full health. And that explains why we're having such little effect on him. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes again, throwing his little hissy fit. 
This guy's skin had better make really good armor. That's all I'm saying. Because we're about to use up like two mana flasks on him. There's got to be probably a better better weapon as well for this. Are we not hitting him? What's going on here? All of our magic missiles are bouncing off of his stony hide. Don't you come at me, sir. Don't you come at me. Listen, I am the Dragon Lord, okay? It's not supposed to go down like this. I was going to come over here. I was going to wave my dragon stick around at you. And then I was going to ride you. I was going to put a saddle on your back. And we we're going to ride off and do adventures in the sunset. It's going to be like Christopher Paolani's Aragon Trilogy that ended up being a quadrilogy. Because there's a fourth book. And also there's one about forks and broomsticks or something. Oh, Shrek that I haven't read yet. It's like a series of short stories. Looks pretty interesting. Haven't gotten to it yet. Okay. All right. We've got a, we got just like a slight moment here. A moment's respite. But you wanted to be like this. You said, no, we're going to make it like the Hobbit. I'm going to be Smaug. And you're going to be Brom or Broom or whatever his name was. I can't even remember his name now. That's fine. That's fine. You know what? I don't got a giant iron arrow, but I can hit you with magic missile as many times as it takes to kill you. Or until I run out of mana flasks. Why? Why? What is happening here? You've embedded yourself into the mountain. You're using the mountain as a defensive mechanism. And I can't compete with that. I can't I can't damage you and the mountain at the same time. He is destroying this mountain, by the way. That's not me doing that. All of these pieces he's knocked down, that's on him. Stop it. Be dead. Die. He's taken so little damage still. I don't think we can kill him. I think he is invincible. Should we just go check out that pirate ship over there? Because at this point, I think we've invested too much time into just a losing proposition. There's nothing we can do at this point. Look at how much health he still has! I mean, granted, we're, we're handling it very well. I'll give us that. You know, he hasn't been able to deal a whole lot of damage to us. Probably because we're wearing the flesh of his kinfolk. That probably helps. Need to stay eaten up, though. Need to keep eating. Oh, Shrek. Yeah, see, there goes the fire attack again. It's not as effective anymore now that I'm wearing dragon flesh, is it, pal? Yeah. Maybe you understand now. Maybe now you understand that I am the Dragon Lord. Are you throwing me around? What is happening right now? I keep teleporting. I think he's picking us up and yeeting us for all the effect it's having. Come on, hold still. We're going to keep this up. If we stay under the water, no, he can still burn us. We know that from previous experience. But if we stay under the water, he can't pick us up, maybe? Oh my gosh. There's the little one again. There it is. Is this like a mom? That's what I was going to ask earlier. Is this a nesting mother and, and that's its baby over there and we're just hassling it and it just wants to be left alone? It's like, yes, I recognize that you are, in fact, Lord of the Dragons. I see that you're wearing the flesh of my brethren. Please, I, I don't mean to be rude. I just need to protect my baby because it knows as soon as I'm done with it, I'm going to go kill its baby too. We got to get the baby. Because the baby height is softer. That's the thing you got to know about dragons. The baby height is softer. Oh my gosh. I got revenge on fire dragon. I killed it. Now we got to go get the baby height because it's softer. And it's bones. Uh, are, are, we're going we're to be able to eat those a lot easier as well. Because they are... Um, they're, they're, they're less... Is it less more brittle? Less brittle? I'm not sure. One of the two. Uh, it, it, they'll be easier to eat. It's it's less like trying to crunch down on bone and more like a nice, like, hard candy, basically, is what I'm getting at here. So come here, you. Let me, let me get all of your flesh off, if I can. Just got to find just the right spot. There we go. Keep right-clicking. Collect all of that. Yes, good. Mother of dragons. What? Was that actually the mother of dragons? Oh, hot dog. What? Really? Were you not watching? Do you honestly think that you have a chance? After what just happened here, were you watching at all? Were you paying any attention? Do you think that you have a chance against me after what you just witnessed? Insanity is what that is. Absolute insanity. I will now collect your bones. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Just had to find the right spot. And I will not drown. I will get out of the water. Good gosh, that took all day. We were here all day doing that. Where is its flesh? Bronze. What? Oh, this is the same. Never mind. 5-2? Five, 5-2. Two. Five, two. Do you have anything else going for you? Increased protection from dragon breath attacks. So, so does this. It's emerald, though, and this is bronze. So whatever that means. We can make armor with it. We can also make a block of bronze scales. We could, we could do this in the, in the anvil of the dawnstone. If we get all the dragon scales, we get a manuscript of ice and fire. Neat. Let's go kill the baby. I'm gonna go eat that baby. 
Uh, let's do this. Excellent. We need to find some more of those flowers, too. Because we need more crystals, like, ASAP. Hey, baby! It's me, King of the Dragons! I'm here to protect you! Your mommy had an accident and drowned! Someone's gotta look after you now! It's gonna be me! No, honestly, though, where did they go? Why are the little ones so slippery? This is the second time we've had a little dragon and then lost it. Where has it gone? Those little turds must fly so fast to get away. What? Was I supposed to kill it before I killed the mom? Certainly would have been quick and easy, I'll tell you that much. Rip its little soft flesh from its body. Okay, let's get over here then. Let's check out what's going on with the pirates. I hear Benjamin. Benjamin is barking, probably at a frog. Um, all right. Is this some sort of an outpost? What's going on here? Is there anything actually over here? Hello? Citizens? Denizens, even. Anyone at all? Anyone alive? Let me, I'm going to have to break your house apart in order to get into your house. Oh, my. Oh, hot dog. Okay. Um, I found the treasure trove. First off, get them crystals. A name tag's cool. Couple of scrolls, a spell book, wand attunement upgrade. Gonna take that, whatever it is. Uh, arcane seal of protection. Upgrades any wizard armor to make it legendary. I have wizard armor at the house. We'll take that. Uh, the rest of this? What? Diver's boots, aqua affinity, and, uh, depth strider. All of this is cool. And in a long-term series... Uh, I would be I'd be foaming at the mouth to get all of that. But as we're currently on a tight schedule, this is in fact the le No. This is in fact the final episode. So let's just uh find the things that immediately suit our needs. I wonder who this boat belongs to. There's no one around here. I mean I saw a witch, but witches don't have boats. All right, to the dry, to the storm mage. Heading to the storm mage now. I saw that. That looks like the entrance to a mine. Maybe they call it a mine. A mine. Looks more like a tomb, if you ask me. We're not gonna go over there. We're gonna come pick up these flowers and head to the storm mage. Because I need to. I I still don't remember what it is I'm buying from the storm mage, but I'll be darned if I don't remember that I want to buy something from that storm mage. Something so badly that I spent the last several episodes. Several episodes. By which I mean, like, the last one and this one. Uh, collecting, collecting gold. Gold! They call it gold. Gold! This is something along the way here. I've seen something along the path that's glowing. Oh, it's just more magic flowers. Convenient the magic flowers glow. Flower gleaming glow. Oh. Hi, guys! See ya! Never seen a pack of them together. Never want to see a pack of them together. One is bad enough. I mean, we killed one pretty easily before, but I'm not here for that today. Also, I'm starving. I need to eat something. Mmm. Dragon flesh. Perfect. A little bit of fire never hurt anybody. That's the way I see it. I mean, we are the dragon lords now. So, we should learn to burn. We should we should learn to... You know, like, how Danny can get into the really hot bath and it doesn't bother her because she's dragonborn or whatever? Like, we need to be able to do that. Um, hello? Mr. Dragon? Mr. Dragon? Hi, how are you? I'm here to buy... Was it this spell book? That can't be right. Storm Mage's hat? No. Wand storage upgrade? That must be it! Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll take that wand storage upgrade. And then, presumably, can we use this here? I hope you don't mind if we use your arcane workbench. Oh, I forgot to mute my... F no, wait, I muted... Wait! I'm, I'm recording this at the same time as I recorded the last one. I'm sorry to disappoint. Um, how do you do this? Is that is that it? And we just hit apply? Oh, my gosh. It now goes up to 805. Not the best improvement, really, is it, Storm Mage? <laughs> you don't have anything that lets me identify? No, you don't. I could buy another one of these if I wanted to. I don't know. How many... Where Do I have any more? Let's see. Yeah, well, I mean, we might as well. You know, at this point, why not? Uh, That's not right. There we go. No, hold on. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it, pal. 
This will get us up to what? 900 and something? What? I'm sorry? Can you only apply one? Whoa, that's the wand attunement upgrade! Wait, did I really buy the wrong one? No! No, I, I bought the right one. Yeah. Didn't I? Wand duration upgrade. I don't know what that means. We have tons of emeralds back home. Maybe we should buy... Ah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's just get out of here. I don't know what an attunement upgrade is. I'm leaving now. We're, we're gonna go. We're gonna go check out that village. I think it was in a thiswardly direction, so let's just head straight for it. There's a lot of red marks on my map. I don't know what those are. I hope that they're not dragons, because I'm just not in the mood anymore. Like, every episode of this now is just me fighting a dragon. How many dragons can there be in one world? They're such big creatures, and this is such a human-sized world. Like, they're going to start starving to death. My assumption is that maybe they're very sleepy, and they spend 90% of their lives asleep. So they'll go, they'll, like, catch their prey. Like, it'll go eat a whole cow, and that's a lot of calories. Cowlories. <laughs> Uh, but then it'll just go to sleep, you know? Because it's like, all right, well, I've had my fill of calories. I'll just go take a nap now. And then it goes and it takes a nap and it sleeps for six years or whatever. And then that's how it doesn't, you know, consume all the the flesh on Earth. Is It, it just it spends most of its time asleep. That is how dragons work, my friends. Oh, there's the wand storage upgrade. Wait a minute. Hold on just a second. Now, hold on. How did did I do this, you might ask? Uh, well, apparently, what happened was I had a wand attunement upgrade, and then I, I also had the wand storage upgrade, and I applied one by mistake and, and then not the other. And now everyone at home is outraged. The, the flaming comments are coming in hot and fast. Reese, you boob. That's usually how they start. How dare you? Listen, sometimes things happen. There's a house over there that we've never seen before. There's so much to see and explore. There's so much to see and explore, but really all I care about right now is getting over to that village we saw. All right, get get in, get in the house. Storm Mage! Storm Mage, don't be startled. I have returned to you. Okay, I'm not even going to ask what you're doing up here. We're going to pretend like I never saw this, and you never saw that. We're up to 910 now. I'm going to go. Gonna, I won't tell any of the other wizards what you were doing when I came over. That's my promise to you. The likelihood of there being anything interesting in that house is slim to nothing. But we do want to know, don't we? We can't go on without knowing. I feel like if we end the series never knowing what was inside of this hut, it'll be really upsetting for a lot of people. You know? And we'll all spend the rest of our lives... Oh, look. I can get some more of these, actually. Do I have enough gold? No. I was going to say I can go get another wand storage upgrade. But no. We don't have enough gold. How can I... Get through a night without gold. If I had to live without gold, what kind of world would that be? Oh, this was a waste of time. I knew it was from the offset. There'd be nothing we'd be upset if we went to this house. Is that a chest? Uh-oh. 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 Should have grabbed what we could while we had the chance. Um, Odd, but okay. I really just want this diamond. Don't want the snow or this piece of dirt, really. Uh, huh. It's weird the things that survive explosions, isn't it? You know, snow and wheat. What a weird experience. What a very weird experience. The, the chest in a tree. Who would have ever heard of such a thing? That'd be like finding a, a recipe for like a DIY project inside of a tree. Just go around shaking trees until DIY recipes come out. It makes no sense. It's completely crazy. It's like the ideas of crazy people. Who would do such a thing? All right, moving onward from here. We're going to go look at this village now. Nothing else will be a distraction unto me. I shall not stop. I shall not rest. I will not fight the dragons. I will not fight the barbarians. I will not fight the assassins. This is my creed unto thee, dear viewer. We're going to go check out that village, uh, which means we do need to go past where the red dragon is. So maybe we stop and break his body. But then, no, we, we, there's nothing to really get from a red dragon, is there? We've already determined that. They don't drop quite as much. Nothing useful for sure. Uh, I think straight over, though. Uh, straight ahead in this direction. With the, the storm mage behind us. Oh, can we not? Is this the end? 
I think this might be the end of our journey, dear friends. I do kind of, I am curious what these red marks are on the map. Because if you look up there on the mini map, there's like some red marks right here. Does that just signify that there's an underground entrance? Because this is a pretty pathetic underground entrance if that is the case. And I am deeply disappointed in you, dear map. Map, I expected more from you. We're not going to detour to super like heavily investigate these things. Because again, it's not what we're here for. We're here to get over this mountain, go through the woods, get to grandmother's house for Thanksgiving dinner with the family. Haven't seen the family in a long time. We've all been quarantined. I see my parents and my brother, obviously. Um, they live locally, but like my nieces and stuff. I think I talked about this last time. I really miss them. Oh, no, you know what? That was a live stream I was talking about that end. Really, really miss them. Oh, yeah, here's this dragon. I don't care. <laughs> I don't. What are we going to get out of him? Some bones? Some dragon skulls? So I can do what? Wave this thing around and be like, I'm the dragon king. Yeah, this has done nothing for me. This thing is useless. I've yet to tame and ride a dragon. Maybe if we get one of the babies, maybe if we find a dragon egg, that'd be pretty slick. But, um, man, nothing yet. Also, that was like a... Oh, boy. Do I have the hiccups? Is that what's happening here? Boy, I hope not. I think everything's fine. I think, I think we're going to be okay. There's the red dragon. The dragoon. And then the village is, is like right around here. I think we got to cut through this area uh, and then get in the water again. So we'll take our... You better believe we're going to take our boat with us. I'm going to leave our boat behind. Come here, boat. Nice. Nice work, boat. There we go. Do it again. Oh, we can't eat another one. Okay. I like to eat the dragon flesh. It makes me feel like... Like stronger somehow. Makes me feel like a... Like a mighty warrior as I eat the fish of the dragon. Let's check this place. Oh? What? Did y'all hear that? I I heard someone shouting yo ho 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 ho. Or I don't know, maybe I didn't. Maybe I heard maybe I heard a dog barking. Who can say? Look at this though! Look at this! The village! Maybe I misread the situation. Um, oh, wait, no. Yeah. Yeah, this looks a bit like a village. Um, oh. <laughs> Indeed. And that there... See, now that looks like the place you'd find a princess at the top, tippy-top of that there tower. And she'd let down her long, luxurious hair... Um, hopefully from the top of her head. And you'd, you'd scale it, and once you got up to the top, you'd be like, hello, and she'd be like, mm, Prince, why did you climb up here? I've got to get down now. Why? What What was the thought processes here? And you'd be like, I really didn't think this through. And, um, and then you both get killed by the witch. Wand blast upgrade. That sounds fun. Uh, we'll take your random spell book, even though I don't know what to do with it. Oh my gosh, we have dragon eggs! What? <laughs> I didn't notice! We have dragon eggs! Oh, okay. Sorcerer's leggings? Um, okay. Uh, I don't know about the the walker jab. Not sure what to do with that. Or the, the summoning pendulum. Holds zero entities. Seems like a waste of time. Scroll of identification, on the other hand, is useful for identifying uh, spells and whatnot. So we'll take that. And do we want to deal with the witches? Which witch, am I right? <laughs> Got him. Let's take him out. Hey, ladies! I wonder if this was their village and they're hiding from something else? I assumed they came here and killed everyone, and that's why they were inside of this room, but I realize now that maybe that's not the case. Uh, and maybe I'm a bad person, but... No, oh, well, we don't need magic powder or sticks or bones or gunpowder. Uh, most of this stuff we don't really need. <laughs> we probably need that, though. Uh oh. What was that? Did y'all hear the sound of something taking damage as it hit the ground? Lots of spell books. Lots of spell books. These would be good to have. Oh, it's about to get dark. Uh, let's go back over to that other house. I heard the sound of something falling and taking fall damage. So... 
that's got me a little bit nervous. Because what was it, you know? Like, who's hopping around out here besides me? That's that's what I want to know. Can we get back inside of this house here, though? It's got a bed. We'll sleep the night away. Uh, which is actually what I do in the real world. And then in the morning, we'll go check out that tower. Alrighty. Let's see what's going on over here. Uh, it seems like a, like a bad idea. Like, it seems like there's only going to be bad things inside of this tower. And it seems to me like we might very well regret going inside of it, but... I said we were going to come over here. I assumed we would find the village of the raiders. All of those people that were attacking us in the night. Uh, maybe not, though, considering we still haven't. But maybe this is where they live. Maybe they live in this tower. And this is where they do all of their attacks from in, in the wee hours of the morning. Or maybe there's no way in here. There certainly doesn't appear to be a door. Very well. I will make one. We, this will be the entrance. Hello. Oh, okay. Well, um. Oh. Brambles. Obviously. Ah. <sighs> Thought I was being attacked by something. What have we here? Oh, a zombie. Let's get that close then. I'm not going to worry about that. I think we've broken into the dungeon. Oh. Ah, yes. Okay then. Well, perhaps someone else had the same idea as me. All right, we're going to go in with the wands at the ready here because presumably there will be oops, something up here to kill us. Or a princess. Again, we don't know. We'll find out. Hello? There's got to be something up here. I can right-click on this thing, right? With a bare hand, maybe? Oh, yeah, well, it may, it did technically do it. Okay. I did expect to hear, like, a pss as soon as we did that, but a, uh, a wand of mystery with increased sorcery potency. A bunch of spells. Some, uh-oh, spaghettios. All right. Uh, scroll of freeze. I don't care about any of this. Epic mega loot case. Yeah, all right. I'll be the judge of that. All right, let's get down from here. This was an uninteresting waste of time. Who oh, struck me? Nope. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought we were going to take way more damage than that, but we're fine somehow. Let's head back. We'll go to our tent, I guess. Um, or wherever it is we can infuse wands. I guess the Pyro's place. We'll attach some of these fancy new wand upgrades. A wand of mystery, though. What am I supposed to do with that? I guess it's a mystery. Well, there we, we, we did it. I said we were going to, and we did. We went and we investigated the, uh... Well. Whatever. Can't even pick up my boat anymore. Let's get rid of some of this junk. I think that must have been a dog we heard earlier, because I hear one panting now. Not sure where he is, but he's around here someplace. Plenty of brambles for us to hurt ourselves on. This is a weird pack. I gotta say, it's really weird. It's not at all what I expected it to be. When I was looking into it, I was like, this is gonna be Hex slash Mine, but updated for a new era. This is gonna be Hexit, but updated for a new era. And what it's actually turned out to be is sort of a... It's like... Dragon Slayer's Fantasy. That's what it is. Do you want to be a Dragon Slayer? Have we got the mod pack for you? My goodness, look at this gap. Cut that gap. Come on now, game. Don't do this to me. I would love a new hack slash mine, but with Hexit. Or, or, or yeah, was it Hexit? I mean, I think of Texit, which is a mix of Hexit and Techit. Hexit. I'd love, for, like, a perfect blending of those two, where you had the mods and everything, but then you also had these insane towers all these villages and stuff. There's a lot of cool stuff going on in, in Hexit that I just haven't seen. Or not Hexit, but in, in Hack Slash Mine. And all of the leveling mechanics and all of that. And the classes and your dwarves were actually shorter than other characters. That was really cool stuff that we haven't really seen done. Oh, at least well since then. And that's, that's what I was sort of hoping for here. But I don't know. I, can you be another race? I know I selected to be... Um, 
a wizard, but was there an option to be like a dwarf wizard? Because that'd be pretty slick. Who wouldn't want to be a dwarf wizard? Drop all of this stuff off. Drop all of this stuff off. Let's let's hold on to that and uh, onto these, I guess. Because I want to put that wand blast upgrade on there. And what else did I throw into here? I think that's probably all. I think that's probably all we need. Let's go ahead and grab those wild berries as well. Because I know where I'm headed next. I know what must be done. We're going to head over to the wizard tower. And we're going to stick a wand blast upgrade on my wand. And we're going to see whether or not that increases the damage. I don't know. Wand blast upgrade. What do you think that means? Sounds like we're upgrading the blast. Would you really call magic missile a... Oh, hi there, you. Didn't expect you to be this far down. Um, I've got a wand. I've got a wand blast upgrade. Probably, probably right there. Apply? No? Can we, can we not? Have I, have I used all of my upgrades on my wand? Can I not upgrade it any further? Apparently I can't. Wand, wand blast upgrade cannot be used. Deeply disappointing. That's fine. I don't need you. I don't need your wand wizard ways. I know what has to be done now. You know, I've done a lot of soul searching over the last 20 episodes, and I feel like I have grown as a person. That's concerning. Should we be worried? Mm. What happens if you walk through this? Nothing? Okay, good. Maybe it's nothing to worry about, because you know what? We're not staying around these parts anyway. We're getting out of here. Done a lot of soul searching, done a lot of thinking about what it means to be me, who I am, and what I want out of life. When this whole thing started, I was just a, a rotten, no-good scoundrel. I was a tramp. I was a thief. I was a criminal. I was I was living on the streets of the Imperial Capital. And they came to me and they said, Are you a wizard? And I said, yes. And they said, all right, then. And the king said, my daughter has a pardon for you if you rescue her. And I was like, all right, yeah, I can do that. So instead of going to jail, I went on an adventure, and maybe I accidentally blew up a, a ship trying to be a wizard and killed everyone on board. Maybe that happened. And maybe I, I got left drifting ashore on a beach on an island. Maybe all of that's true, but if in fact it is, then it is all definitively behind me now. I, I am a different man. I'm an actual wizard. And I did actually save a princess from sirens and dragons and... I went on a grand life-altering adventure. You know, this is the kind of thing that you can't come home from unchanged. Remember when Frodo came back, and he's at the Shire, and he's like, I've saved the Shire, but I got stabbed and it hurt really bad, and I'm going to go live with the elves now in the Undying Lands. And he had that change inside of him. I've had a similar kind of change. I don't want to go live with elves, though. They're real boring. I'm not interested. They were more interesting in The Hobbit. They were more fun. Remember when they all came into Rivendell and the elves were in the trees playing instruments and singing and it was a jolly good time? But then for some reason in the movies they're all just like, Bleh, I'm an, I'm an elf, and I'm mm, stoic and uninteresting, except for except for uh, Legolas. He's, he's still an interesting character, but only him. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is I'm ready to be a little livacious myself. Princess... I'm yours. Let me turn off the camera first. I don't. Thank you folks for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you later. Bye. Well, let's get to it.